hi guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i'm going to show you how to cut and sew your very own turtleneck collar now this is the easiest way and the simplest way to sew a turtleneck collar for beginners and trust me you're going to enjoy so let's get into the tutorial <music> So to start the tutorial, you're going to take the measurement of your neckline, okay? So the width of your neckline. Now this my neckline is on a fold, so I'm going to take the width and I got 9 inches as it's on a fold. Now the next I'm going to do is, my fabric is spread out like this already. I just took my fabric and I folded it like this. Just the way I'm folding it in this tutorial, that is how you fold it. <laughs> So after folding it, I smoothened it out so that there won't be any rough folds. And I looked for a wide area in the fabric and I just drew this shape. My mom taught me this that and guys, it has changed my, my total neck color again. So after drawing this shape, I went ahead to measure to make sure that this the width of my neck, I got the width of my neck there. And I also added like, I added one inch sewing allowance. Now from just, just what I'm doing here, I took 1.5 inch for the width of the collar okay i took one of that depending on how how will i say wide you want the collar to be okay some people take two inches but i, I normally take 1.5 inch because i don't always want it to be big 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 like that so i marked 1.5 inch and i just connected my markings together like this now it is the bottom of the collar that you are going to fix to the neckline that determines the length of this collar which is what i drew the first time yeah now after drawing out my desired um, after drawing it out next thing i went ahead to do was to cut it if my voice is sounding crooky men i'm virgin i just woke up and i'm doing voiceover for you guys so manage the voice like that okay uh -huh. so after cutting it out this is what we have here and you guys know that we of course we need a facing piece okay so i just placed it again on the fabric and i secured it with my office pins and i'm just going to cut it out okay yeah <laughs> you guys i've missed doing voiceovers i'm just back i'm happy to be back to filming tutorials for you guys i'm just so happy okay now i i took my time to cut this facing piece because sometimes if you are not careful you might cut it and the facing piece will not be looking exactly like the main piece if that's happened to you before just let me know so this is what we have here this is what it looks like this is what the turtleneck color looks like now i took it over to my ironing table i'm going to separate the main piece from the facing piece now of course they look the same so you can choose which one you want to be the main piece or the facing piece and i used my gum stay not gum stay my paper stay okay i use my paper stay and i'm just going to press it on top now you can see that i'm ironing this i'm attaching this forcible interface on a fold you must not open it up you know why if you open it up and you attach a gum stay the fabric is going to expand and it will not fit the color okay so you are meant to do it side by side i know you're going to be like no i'll iron it so free don't worry i've done the experiment for you and it didn't work out well so just iron the forcible interface on a fold okay just like i'm doing here yeah so after giving it a good press, I went ahead to use my scissors to cut it out, okay? There's something else I want to show you guys with this ironing, so just stay with me. Now after I cutting it out, this is what we have here. Now you know that the middle point, the forcible interface is not exactly well cemented in. So you're just going to take your pressing iron and you're going to smoothen it in lightly. Men and brethren, lightly, you can see how I did it. I did not even put the whole iron lightly so it doesn't expand. Yeah. So after ironing, this is what we have here. I laid the two pieces on, on, on each other. That's wrong sides together. And I'm going to join from that side to the other side. But I'm not going to close the end of the other side. I'm going to leave it open. So I took it over to my sewing machine and I just joined the collar. Okay. I joined it. Now, after joining it, I gave it a good backstitch. And then I went ahead to make small cuts on the seam so that by the time I turn it over, it is well relaxed. It's not puffy. It's not sturdy. You guys know how these things behave when you don't cut it and you turn it over. Yeah. So after turning it, after cutting it, I went ahead to turn it over. Now, that edge, you're going to push it out with your pencil or biro, whatever you like to push it out with. Then after doing that, I went ahead to top stitch. Mm -hmm. I know you have warned me on this channel that it's not top stitch. I went ahead to under stitch. 
after under stitching, I still top stitch. Eh? You push, you manage it like that. <laughs> so after top stitching, next thing I went ahead to do was I was I was trying to show you guys what it looked like here. Okay, in case you are doing yours and it comes out that way, don't worry, it's fine. After that, I went ahead to give it a good press. Huh? When you, you see, guys, you need a steam iron in your life. You need a steam iron in your life, oh. Get one. If you want to get one, get the Benetton steam iron. Those guys, oh, your steam iron works like magic. Okay, now, you guys, after giving it a good press, you can see it's well relaxed. Now, to attach it, you're just going to take it, you're just going to secure with a pin to the neckline. I are going to join, okay? Very simple. You're going to join one part, not the two, the two parts. So, when you not get to the edge, you cut it off. Now, since you cut it off, after cutting it off, next thing I had to do was to flip it over to the back, mm, and I'm going to join it. So I took it back to my sewing machine, and I joined the end. Mm? So after joining the end, I cut it off. That is, I cut off the excess, and I flipped it over. This is why we leave one end open, so that it will be easy to just join the other side instead of trying to make sure the color fits in which is like the main problem with sewing a turtleneck color you can see everything is well relaxed and it's, it's, it's in place now to sew the other side of the color which is mainly the facing okay you're just going to push in the seam and you're going to fold the facing neatly and you're going to top stitch on top hmm? okay you can see what i'm doing eh you're going to push in the facing and you're going to fold. You're going to push in the seam. Let me not bite my mouth. You're going to push in the seam and you're going to fold the facing and under stitch. Mm -hmm. So push in the seam, fold the facing piece of the collar and you're going to sew on top. Right? That's how you're going to sew the second piece. And you want to make sure you're sewing it neatly. Neatly. Okay? <laughs> You want to make sure you're sewing it in neatly. Just take your time. There's no need to rush. I took my time. I always take my time. Uh -huh. So after sewing it, this is what it looks like, guys. It is very simple and straightforward. And guys, this is the easiest way, the simplest way, and the fastest way to sew a turtleneck collar. Okay? You can see I was busy dancing. You know, the part two. Okay, this, this tutorial is in two parts because I'm making this... Um, color for a turtleneck bow tie shirt. Okay, so you are going to want to watch out for the full tutorial Okay, which is coming out coming up next after this same um, turtleneck color Do make sure you subscribe follow me on Facebook subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye 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 <laughs> I'm being naughty with you guys. Okay. Bye. Bye for real